The Michigan presidential primary is in the books. President Joe Biden and Donald Trump both dominated, but the results are pointing toward possible signs of trouble. On the Republican side, former President Trump getting 68% of the vote, 27% throwing their support behind former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, and a protest movement to cast uncommitted votes over President Joe Biden is expected to have won two delegates. President Biden taking 81% of the vote compared to 13% for uncommitted. Seven Action News reporter Simon Shaykat is talking with both sides in Detroit and Dearborn about what this could mean for November and how Biden could potentially win back support that's been lost recently. By now, there's no question uncommitted voting is making an impact here in Michigan, and now we're getting a closer look at what that could mean for the general election. The Arab American Muslim community are so much in pain. They're so much in pain, and we normally never like to be a one-issue kind of voters, but this is so personal, so deep to them. After leading a billboard campaign that helped lead to roughly 100,000 voters choosing uncommitted based on U.S. support for Israel, founder of the Arab American Civil Rights League, Nabiya Yad, sharing this message about the upcoming general election for president. If the United States president and his cabinet does the right moves, and they need to make it quickly. A significant move toward helping and putting a ceasefire, a permanent ceasefire in place that may, just may, get the voters back to Biden. He says President Biden will have to demonstrate a major commitment to long-term peace in order to appeal to Democrat voters in Dearborn, particularly those with loved ones in Gaza. I would take uh, uh, Biden in a wheelchair over Trump standing up. Reverend Horace Sheffield with the Detroit Association of Black Organizations sharing this view. What's at stake is this country. I mean, the, the, as we've known it. The uncommitted vote to me, you know, was a, was a sign of protest and everyone has the right to do it. But at some point you've got to come to your senses and realize that overall Biden is the best choice for us. While the next few months will be critical in showing how our state will vote, I also asked Republican strategist Jamie Rowe what uncommitted voting represents for the campaign of former President Trump. It's good news for President Trump, but uh, you know, more, more so than that is it's bad news for Joe Biden. If you look at the results in Dearborn and other places, uncommitted crushed President Biden in uh, Dearborn yesterday at the polls. Roe believes the former president can build on momentum, saying his supporters are not deterred by legal issues and will show up to the polls come November. Also weighing in political science professor at Oakland University, Dave Dulio, talking about what happens if President Biden changes course on policy. If he does change course, you wonder if that alienates even more people uh, who are supportive of his current policy. President Trump has committed completely that he is going to campaign vigorously in our state from now until November. Republican strategist Jamie Rowe says you can expect to see former President Trump talking more and more about peace in the Middle East in the weeks and months to come. From Dearborn Heights, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.